So I'd like to thank you all for coming. This is our 21st birthday celebration. My name is Yay! My name is Chris Sparkle, and this is my wonderful colleague, Christian Vega. We're going to be your MCs for today. Before we start, we'd like to um, welcome Donna um, Ingram from the Metropolitan Lands Council to come and do a welcome to country. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning any Aboriginal brothers and sisters that may be in the audience today. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today with permission from my elders and as a representative of the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council to offer you welcome to country. I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman who's had the privilege of living, studying, working and raising my four children on Gadigal land for most of my life. My mother and grandmother were also born on Gadigal land. The Gadigal are one of 29 clans of the Eora Nation. I acknowledge the Gadigal people, their spirits and ancestors, who will always remain with the land, Mother Earth. I would like to thank them for allowing us to meet here today, this symposium. I'm also proud to be part of the oldest living culture in the world, the Aboriginal culture of Australia. I pay my respects to Elders, both past and present, and realise the sacrifices made by our community to create better opportunities and outcomes for future generations of Aboriginal people. Without their sacrifices, I may not be standing here today. The Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council is a legislative body that has the responsibility and the honour of caring for Gadigal country. Metro's borders are the Hawkesbury, Nepean and the Georges Rivers. I now offer you a warm and sincere welcome to the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. I wish you a safe stay on the land and a safe journey off the land. And on behalf of Metro, I would like to wish you well at the symposium and I'd like to thank Scarlett Alliance for inviting me here today. And in closing, it should be remembered that this is, was and always will be Aboriginal land. Thank you very much. Um, the Australian Sex Workers Association, formed in 1989. Scarlet Alliance is made entirely of sex workers um, from all sectors of our diverse industry and all corners of our country and region. Scarlet Alliance has a long and proud history of representing sex workers in Australia at a national level. Since 1989, we have been primarily an unfunded, grassroots, community-based volunteer organisation and since that time, we have grown to become the peak body for, for sex workers in Australia. Although we still do not have core funding, we have funding from different pro for different projects which enable us to operate a vibrant office in Sydney, here in Sydney. Um, we have projects here in Australia, as well as in Papua New Guinea, Timor-Leste, and the Asia-Pacific um, regional project. Uh, we have a number of amazing staff and volunteers who do both the day-to-day -day running of the office as well as plan, implement and evaluate innovative projects that serve the sex working community. Internationally, it is recognised that the rights of sex workers are best promoted when sex workers themselves are involved in, the health, in health responses. This has contributed to our sex industry having the lowest rates of HIV in the world and also some of the best legal frameworks which started right here in New South Wales. more about that in just a moment. So the diversity of our membership is celebrated by Scarlet Alliance and our activities are informed directly by them. Our membership is made up of sex worker based funded and unfunded groups, organisations and projects throughout Australia. We also have individual sex workers from all over Australia as members. We bring together our diverse community whether we work in legal or illegal frameworks be that street-based, escort, brothel, phone, stripping and peep shows, horn and or opportunistic or any other way sex workers choose to operate. Sex work is not gender specific and we represent sex workers of all genders and sexualities. We create a sex worker voice that is present, accurate and reflects the actual realities of sex work. Sex work is work and sex workers deserve all the same rights as any other worker in any other industry. Scarlet Alliance works hard to ensure that that voice is present in all decision-making forums affecting sex workers. 
we also utilize community cultural development, particularly performance, to not only celebrate each other, but to engage the broader community um, to address stigma, in addressing stigma and misconceptions about sex work. Today we have a sexual, uh, for an instant there. Today we have a selection of performances to showcase this. I hope the performances will be sexual. <laughs> we make no promises. <laughs> and of course, none of this amazing success would be possible without the hard work over the past 21 years of sex workers writing submissions, funding applications, and doing media interviews between jobs at brothels or typing them up on their laptops in their cars between picking up clients <laughs> off the street. Today, we are here to celebrate our history and achievements, to honour the hard work of sex workers in years gone by, and to look forward into our very vibrant future.